Hi guys, I'm back for another installment of Random Calls with Awesome Authors and today we're going to cold call Christopher Golden. Christopher is amazing and incredible and he does so much stuff. We're going to talk to him about all of that, but first let's see if he'll take my call. Hey Chris, what you doing? Uh, hey Rachel, I'm, I'm just, uh, just reading Captain Marvel, one of my uh, favorite current comics. Uh, it's uh, written by this amazing writer named Kelly Sue DeConnick, who's doing great things with women and, and uh, superheroes right now. Insider info, Kelly Sue DeConnick is actually working on Captain Marvel and Avengers Assemble and a whole lot of other stuff for Marvel Comics, so check her out. Uh, well, what I'm working on right now is this, uh, well, it's, it's kind of a crazy book called Tin Men. Uh, it's a uh, near-future military science fiction thriller. Um, and it's uh, it's actually been optioned by Warner Brothers for film, um, so hopefully they'll make that movie. But right now I'm focused on making the book. Yeah, you heard that right. He has something optioned by Warner Brothers that he hasn't even finished yet. Mm -hmm. I do kind of have to finish it. I was I was I was saying to my agent the other day that I'm a little nervous because although um, I've actually and writers hate when I say this, but I've actually never. I've never finished a novel before I sold it, knock on wood. Um, it's been very lucky, but this is the first time I've actually optioned a novel to movies before I've sold it, and that's actually really nerve-wracking. I'm sure it's a little nerve-wracking, but it's so exciting. So how do you balance all of this stuff? Um, I don't. Um, I don't do it well anyway. For instance, right now I'm, I'm working on Tin Men. I'm working on editing the latest issue of of Baltimore for Dark Horse Comics. Um, um, I'm about to begin the second issue of Sons of Anarchy, the comic book series for Boom Studios. Wow. Uh, I'm waiting for Charlene Harris to get back to me with the outline for our third Cemetery Girl graphic <laughs> novel. Um, and uh, I'm doing sort of final edits on a, 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 a tribute anthology, which I think we'll talk about later, I hope. I'm still trying to get all that straight in my head. Wow. But uh, so, yes, yeah, so I'm doing all of those things at once, but it's it's mostly because I've been really lucky and also cursed to be able to do kind of all the different things that appeal to me. Um, I've done video games and comics and, and uh, I've written, even though they haven't been made, I've written screenplays for studios and I wrote a pilot for the CW and um, it's really fun. It's uh, it's a great toy box. That's a really nice toy box. I'd like to be you when I grow up. Oh, don't grow up. <laughs> Chris, tell me about this tribute anthology, because I'd really like to know. Well, uh, it's, it's called Mr. October, um, a, uh, an anthology in memory of Rick Howdala. And Rick Howdala uh, not only was one of the most prominent figures in horror fiction in the um, 1980s and early 1990s, uh, but he was also one of my closest friends, and he passed away in March. Mm -hmm. um, so in order to try to benefit his, uh, his sons uh, and his wife, um, I've put together this, uh, this tribute anthology. Everything is donated. Even the publisher is donating their services. They're literally only taking uh, the costs of producing the actual book and nothing more, and everything else will go to Rick's family. Well, that's pretty spectacular. So what's the response been like? The response was immediate and overwhelming. I've got um, Neil Gaiman and Clive Barker and Peter mm -hmm. Straub and Graham Joyce, who's actually battling cancer himself mm -hmm. right now, and um, I'm just so many other uh, amazing writers. Um, the, the last thing I should say is that it's so big and so many people responded mm -hmm. that we were forced to actually make it two volumes. Ooh. Um, it's like 180,000 words of... of <laughs> fiction. So, in any case, so so you certainly would get your money's worth. That's really amazing and I know that uh, I know that his family's very grateful and I know Rick would be grateful too. He would never have imagined that so many people would support him so much. It's been great. So, is Mr. October available for pre-order yet? Uh, it's not, but it will be soon. Mm -hmm. um, but people can also pay attention and, you know, uh, if they want to follow me on Twitter, um, then uh, they can they can get it there. I know we're all going to be on the lookout for that. And, you know, it's a little off topic here, but um, about the Kickstarter. 
So did you hear that we've added some new reward levels? All right, well, is, is one of the reward levels that you and Amber Benson will actually go to someone's house? Because that would be good. We haven't quite decided on that one, but you know, Cassandra Clare and Sarah Reese Brennan both proposed mud wrestling for Morganville at the $200,000 level. So if we get $200,000, will you be in the mud pit? <laughs> uh, I'll ring the bell. <laughs> you know. Perfect. Wait, why do I picture him like this as the bell ringer? Well, whatever happens, we're going to be following you on Twitter and maybe even in real life. So. Cool. Wait, is that you? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Thank you again, Chris. And, uh, we, we will talk to you soon. And uh, go, go finish your comic and maybe work a little bit on Tin Man. I will. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, I've learned that I am a total slacker today um, and that, uh, that I should do more work. But also, uh, I'm really looking forward to the Mr. October anthology, and you guys should follow Chris on Twitter and make sure that you stay up to date on that, too. And uh, just wish him well on all his projects. Thanks for talking to us today, Chris. And everybody out there, thanks for joining us on Random Calls. We'll be back soon. I'm Rachel Kane, and I'm out. Arnold, you're in. The casting director says a little green paint and no one will know the difference.